So let's see what happens when I change the product type from default to glasses. And boom, this is our result. Hello and welcome everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to photograph some eyewear. The thing about an eyewear is that of course it contains glass in the eye holes. Therefore it can be a challenge for a photographer, especially when we want to remove the background and we want to retain the transparency of the glass inside the eye holes. And if we wanted to do it like in a traditional way, then probably we would have to spend some time on the post-production and edit it out with the mask clipping. We would have to select the eye holes and reduce the opacity to retain the transparency of the glass. As you can see, I've got some glasses already in a jumbo. So without any further ado, let's take some picture. I am going to combine a BGR mode to remove the background and I'm going to use the super focus just to get my entire image in focus. So the first thing, I'm going to enable the BGR mode and I am not changing anything here. The second step is I'm going to use the super focus. So I'm going to indicate my point A and point B. Okay, and now let's take a picture and see what happens. Okay, our image is now ready to preview, so let's open it in the preview window. And this is our result at this stage. So I have used a default settings of the BGR mode. And as we can see, even at this stage, it has removed the background quite effectively. Let's go to the mask mode and preview the mask. Okay, now we can see clearly that we've got a nice silhouette of the, of the frame of the glasses. So what about the eye holes? And this is the final moment where the different types of soap algorithms inside the BGR mode comes to action. So let's see what happens when I change the product type from default to glasses. And boom, this is our result. Straight away, you can see that we have restored the transparency in our eye holes. So there is definitely a significant improvement in terms of how much time we spent on the post-production. And at this stage, I can still apply some changes to my mask. So for example, I can have control over the opacity of the glass inside the eye holes. And with the density slider, I can still change the sensitivity of my BGR mode. And with the third slider, I can smooth out the edges of my mask. Okay, let's go back to the image mode and let's put some color behind. And now you can see we've got our image ready for publishing just in seconds. So as you can see, the process was quite faultless. The big advantage is that we have a PNG with a transparent background so we can use an image, whether it's a graphic design banner for the website or whether it's a printed catalog or a flyer, we can use an image for any further marketing purpose. I hope you found this video useful. For more information, you can visit our website mode360eu. Please visit our YouTube channel for more video tutorials. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you.